Some of you may have thought we were dead. Others of you may have thought we were transported to an alien galaxy far, far away where we were abducted by Darth Vader and then sent into slavery with Princess Leia. The latter would be true. But right now we're back. So now, presenting to you the next installment of our Call of Duty series. And this time, we've got lasers. Do you know why? Because we're in Japan. Everything in Japan has a laser. Durr. Everyone would have known that. But also, besides that, we have teleportation abilities with our knife. That's right. Just watch. I can uh, swoop a stab anybody from any like distance. You see that? That was my private's blood. Not like my private's, but like my private on my team. Okay, never mind. Gainus aside, I just stabbed that nooblet in the face with my knife from a distance. See, even these swas 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 swaswers can't even come anywhere close. Because, as you know, swas 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 is not good for you if it's coming close to you. But, with my teleportation knife, I can go wah wah and then they're just automatically dead. I can just own anybody anytime at all, you know that. I'm related to Chuck Norris, or like, I wish I was, but it'd be cool. You know, Chuck Norris walks on water. And, I don't know what else he walks on, but whatever he does, he can walk on anything. Besides that, I also have a team full of idiots on this thing right now. Because as you see, they're just standing back with the, and they're letting me swap 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 everybody. They actually haven't done anything at all at the moment, so whatever. Not to mention that if you stab somebody, it also works with a bayonet. So I can stab from a distance now. You know how you poke people with a bayonet like you poke an elephant in a storeroom? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. You poke a Japanese person with this bayonet, like those evil Japanese people, you know. Not the, gu not the guys that make all the cool electronics in Honda now, but like these guys. They're mean. They don't make Hondas. So now, you basically take this bayonet and you swoop around. Now with the laser guided precision of the Japanese laser beams, you can swap people all the way from a distance. And if you're close enough, they'll actually spawn you close to them. And you can even make people play Limbo now. Did you see those guys? They're like... And right now, I will show you my teleportation techniques and what is called the Mind Reader Power of Death. And right now, three, two, one. Blop. Blop. Gayness. Check it out. Oh my god, there's a guy inside of another guy. How gay is that? That was just disgusting. Oh my god, get away from me. Yeah, you get, you die. Faglet. Yeah, just hurry up and die already. There you go. Did you see that? He was like a speedy bitch. He was like... And he, oh, god damn it, he took that machine gun. He was like, oh my god, I'm gonna fend for my life. And he was like, no! No! And then another guy, he just can't make up his mind. He wanted to take that machine gun, but then he's like, hells no! Hells no! And now these two people are playing Limbo. Check it out. Alright. Usha. And if I were in Soviet Union, I would have died by now. Not really, because I have invincibility anywhere. But the cool thing is about this is that in Japan, everybody loves to play Limbo. Yes. And I can't kill privates for some reason. Because they're fags. Get it? Private. Eh. Ooh, look over here. If you look at the waterfall, you can actually see a rainbow, which is a really nice touch on the developer's part. If only the developers like actually focused on making the AI work better, then maybe we'd have a better game, but at the very least, we've got nice rainbow effects. Hells yeah. I don't think they uh, realize that it's a Roy G. Biv model, so the rainbow is kind of purple, but screw that. Shit happens, you know. Yeah. And with my Thompson, I will Thompson these people all the way to their graves. And if you are wondering, the glowing things right there are not actually gold bars from Fort Knox like I th originally thought. They're not going to drop you gold or any of that awesome shit, but whatever. On the bright side, you get bombs called satchel charges. So i just like going to drop a bunch over here, blow some crap up, and be very happy about everything in my life right now. Cause it's pretty awesome, you know? If you have a satchel charge and you kind of sat on it, and you cried a bunch, well then that'd be kind of sad, because you're sitting on a bomb, and you're not even doing anything useful with it. But if you blew it up while you were sitting on it crying, then you'd be even happier. I don't know how it works, but I, I, you won't be sad because you'd be dead, you know? So, reverse psychology aside. It's not really reverse, though, but whatever. Yay! Whoa, that was a really awesome way to kill somebody. Have you seen that? He was like, what's up? And he like flew all the way to the bunker on the right. He was like, what's up? And died. So yeah. I don't know what to say. Besides that these people aren't as awesome as me. Okay, Polonsky is not reloaded. Okay, okay, fine, Robuck. I'll take care of your stupid bunker. Which just had a fireball come out of its right side. If you rewind a bit, you can check it out. Yeah. So what do you guys 
Ah. <laughs> what do you guys prefer? Bonsai attackers? Oh, okay, my god, okay. What are these guys? Holy shit. Get away from me. He probably thinks he's fast. Well, guess what? Just check me out. What a noob cake. Ah, ha ah, ah, ha, fag. I'm over here. Yeah. He got totally raped by me. Owned. <laughs> he couldn't have done any better. Nope. Get away from me. That's right. You think you're fast? I'm Chuck Norris fast. Because I've got my steroid legs. And you know, with steroid legs you can walk and run anywhere, but... I don't know. If I were playing Portal right now, I'd have spawned over there by now, too. Oh, so this is where Aperture Science started. Okay. And here's the death card for anybody who wants it. But realize, please, that this is an actual death card. And there's a dead Japanese guy to the right. He wasn't just smok smoking silicon or some weird shit like that. He just died by looking at it. So the thing's dangerous, man. Dangerous. And there's a guy in a pool of water. Just for fun. Hey, there's me swap swap falling on people. And they're, oh my god, they're like, they're like freaking ants, man. Do they have a secret breeding ground somewhere here? They're coming from freaking everywhere. Jeez, those Japanese people are busy. I mean, I heard a lot of stuff about Japan being like, capital of sex or something. I mean, they make anime stuff like that, but, I mean, damn. I didn't know they were like bunnies, too. Oh, god. Oh, well. We got the same thing in Russia. Totally. Modern Warfare 2, our terrorists come from everywhere. Bam. Okay, Robux. Just shut up. I'm on it right now. Okay. It's pretty. Okay. No! Okay, stop getting your panties in a twist. I'm on my job, okay? I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing, okay? Just like putting shit all over the place and just, yeah. There you go. See, I even made a fountain, Robux. You should be thanking me. You love fountain of blood. You know, you go home and you just drink blood all day because you're Count Dracula or some shit like that. I bet you enjoyed that, didn't you? Huh? Huh? You did it, didn't you? Japanese infantry. Yeah, no shit. We've been fighting them for about, like, what? 750? 755? That's right. <sighs> Robuck. I think he needs a better job. Or he actually has, like, competence issues, you know? Maybe he could throw the satchel charges next time instead of, like, being all annoying and stuff. He's like Reznov. He just yells at you uselessly until you go do something. You know what? I'm not going to do your dirty work anymore, Robot. Unless you tell me to because that's kind of how I need to pass the game. But still, if you tell me next time, I would just be like, Hells no, bitch. And you can just do it yourself. Oh, you, you, you want to go? Huh? Oh, God. Did you see that guy? He's like, oh, my God. Okay. If he were a gymnast... I bet he could, like, win the Olympics down flat. He, like, teleported from his back to his front in a matter of, like, less than five seconds. More like .5 seconds, man. That was crazy. He was like, what's up? And then he was like, what's up? Asian, what's up? Okay, you know what? I will throw a satchel charge for you this time. But I don't really want to. <sighs> fine, fine. Fine, fine. Just because you make me. What? Hold on, you just tell me to throw side shoulder. Okay, you know what? This guy sounds cooler than uh, Robux, so he must be better. Polonsky, you're my hero. Thanks for getting rid of that evil objective of blowing the bunker up. But let's just blow it up anyway. See? Now I get two good jobs. I get two gold stars for the price of one. You know how to do both jobs. So shut up, it's still the price of one. You want, okay, you want all of them to jump on you? Hey, 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 if you want them all on you, quit getting them on me. Take away your faglets. That's right. Go faglets, go. Go faglets. Damn it! Okay, you know what? It's a freaking door. You can open it. You don't have to, like, jam and take it down. Jesus Christ. Tanks, tanks don't move, they crawl. It's Thumper! Yay, Thumper! I guess he respawned again, which is kind of gay, but whatever. Thumptastic, man. Thumptastic. Holy shit! Oh my god, Thumper! You're dead! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna take you down, son of a bitch. Alright. Die for Thumper! For Thumper! 